Okay, so when we last left off, we went ahead and made the title and tagline editable from the admin menu. So now what we're gonna do is start making the portfolio populate with images that are placed in there from the admin area as well. Um, so now, as you notice, this site does not, or this current uh, bootstrap theme does not have a uh, blog element to it. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is just make our blog this portfolio area. So it's a little bit of kind of hacking it, but uh, we're gonna make it work and I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, so the way that this will work is first off, we've got this post area. It always is gonna give you this little default post. Just go ahead and I always just trash it. Um, now let's say we wanted to add a new one. So how would we add an image? As you can see here, these are the areas that we can do this. And your initial thought might be, oh, let's go ahead and add media and then add it into the post. But we don't really want to do that because we kind of want the image, um, just really the image tag. We don't need all this other stuff. Okay, so go ahead and grab the code here. And what we're going to need to do is go ahead and add theme support for a post thumbnail. Um, so in this case, we're just gonna, just as I said, add theme support. And then we're gonna just go ahead and call post, I'll spell it correctly, post thumbnails. Okay, so by doing this, what we are doing is enabling the admin support for that element in the post area. Um, so now if we go ahead and save this and then we go back into here and hit refresh, now you can see we have this set featured image area. So what we're gonna do, we can move this up here. Um, so set featured image is basically going to allow us to take whatever kind of image we want and add it into this area. Now, I'll go ahead and add a few. Um, so I'm just gonna show you kind of how this works. All right, so this is the uh, portfolio file that is in, um, in the path here. So you can see we're, we're just in our themes portfolio area inside of our images folder. Um, these are the six images that it kind of gave us. So we'll go ahead and open this one and just make this our first portfolio item. Um, and just a quick tip here, if you go back to files, since we're gonna go ahead and load all of them, you can select all of them from here and just select open and it'll go ahead and load all of them up into the media library. All right, so now that we have all those, we'll go ahead and select, um, well, I'll, just to make it look exactly like it did on this, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate the WordPress loop um, for posts. So it's going to, what it's gonna do is loop through each of these items. And so the first item will always be the, well, I mean, this item that pops up here, will always be the last item that you add it. So it's going to, you know, loop through. And so the first one we should add is the summary. This not really important, but um, just to kind of recreate the exact, you know, theme. All right, so now that we've got that set, we can just give it a label so we kind of know what it is. And we're just gonna hit publish. All right, so I'm just gonna take a few seconds here and go ahead and upload all of these and then I'll get back to you when I've got them all completed. Okay, so now you can see all of our posts and um, so I just went ahead and added all these. Um, just set the featured image and gave them a title to kind of organize them in this screen. Uh, but 
I don't believe that this gives us any way to actually view any information about the photos or anything. So we won't really need the title, but it is there. Um, okay, so now let's get back to our code. And we're gonna go ahead and here's the portfolio grid section. So you can see that we have the row tag, that's a bootstrap uh, letting us know that this is gonna create a row. Um, and then we've got this column small four. So we know that that's gonna take up four and there's 12 columns in bootstrap, so that'll be three columns. So we know that that's gonna be necessary to have on each portfolio item. So we kinda know that this is what we need to loop through. Now, this search icon looks like it's hard coded. We won't need to control any of that. And here we have the image tag. So that's the part that we're gonna need to loop through and select the images that we just uploaded in the database and then have those populate um, for us. So, all right, so now, first things first, what I always do is any of this section here, so you can see we have six different items. I'm just gonna try to go slow so I don't go way past this. Okay, so right here is the end of this. I go ahead and just comment it out. Uh, this way it's still there if we need to reference it, but it's not going to show in our code anymore. And then right here underneath the row is where we're gonna add a PHP tag. Okay, so this is how you do the post loop. Now, in this case, what we're gonna have to do, basically what we need is to say if has po uh, have posts, then, all right, that's the end of our if statement here. I'm just gonna add some spaces so we can kind of see what's what. Um, and then we're gonna say while it does have that, so we have to write has posts again, have posts, we want to do the post. And then we're gonna go ahead and close the PHP tag. So this begins our loop. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move that down here. And all right, so now we can kind of tell where it begins. I'm gonna indent this just so we can tell that this belongs inside this if statement. And then to close it out, we're gonna go ahead and put another PHP tag below this and just say end while and end if. Okay, so there we have this. This is the standard loop and this is gonna call initially um, our posts that we put into the post area of the admin section. So I'll go ahead and save this and then I'm just gonna show you back here. Um, sorry, in the admin area. So this is called posts and that's sort of what it's saying is if it has posts, while it has posts, display the post. And then it's gonna loop through and put something here. So what we wanna put through here is we're gonna go ahead and remove this image tag, but well, let's just comment it out like I said. So we have that as a reference and we're gonna create another PHP tag and we're just gonna say the post thumbnail. So um, you kind of saw there like the helper things, you can determine if you want it to be full size or whatever size you want it. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and leave it blank. I believe it'll just default to full size. If it doesn't, we'll change it later. Um, so, okay, let's go ahead and save that and let's see what we get on the site. Dun dun dun, doesn't look good, does it? Okay, so let's see what we're actually getting when we inspect the element. Oh, 
Okay, so here we have, for some reason we're getting part of a PHP tag, that's not good. Um, let's go ahead and try to figure out what's going on there. Oh, yep, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Can't have that there. Um, that's why we messed all that up. So um, I just out of habit always close my stuff. So I, there we go, we already have it closed, so it's open and closed. All right, so now we'll go ahead and inspect this first element again. I don't think it refreshed. Or did I not save? No, okay, gotta save. Okay, so you can see how this kind of process goes. Is, um, but this is a good thing to learn because uh, things aren't always gonna work right away for you. Okay, so now you can see we have the images but they're displaying way too large. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the codex and just take a look at uh, the post thumbnail. And in here, we'll take a look at the function reference. Okay, so right here we can see that you, you can pass in the size and the um, attribute section. Um, so right now we are getting an enormous size. It's probably good that we just pull in, let's just say we pull in full. Or actually, you know what it is? Um, that's actually exactly what it is, is it needs a class. So up here, you can see that we can pass in an array. So we'll go ahead and just put full. Um, and then we're going to pass in an array and we're going to give it a class equal to well let's just stick with single quotes um, equal to this. So that's why I commented it out is because you're going to need some of these things to help with styling. All right, so let's go ahead and save this out and see what we get. All right, boom. Um, so that's exactly what it looks like on here. So you literally cannot tell the difference. And so that's how we're going to do that section there. And this is probably a good place to stop this video. And in the final video, we're going to handle, I'm, I think I'm going to try to just go ahead and finish out the project and do this section. Um, we're going to do a little kind of trick thing um, to handle this section. And then we're going to finish that up with a contact form seven contact form. So that adds in the functionality of this contact form. And that'll be a good thing to kind of run through and learn how to use and make it fit whatever theme you have uh, style. So, all right, uh, thank you for watching and look forward to the next one very soon.